Hey guys, guys it's, it's the loud guys. guys. Today we are going to watch how US military smoked Russian mercenaries. So we know how powerful US military is and how big and like how massive they are. So like what did they do to Russian mercenaries? And are we talking about the Russian Ukraine war and how like I don't think so it is about that because like US is not directly into combat but yes US can like help Ukraine into it and somewhat the other way. I don't know anything about this video and it is I think so written hashtag #Syria so somewhere i think so in syria because yes russia is like supporting the government and like us is not supporting the government so they might have like come together and clash together so let's see what is there in and this and it's video. just 10 days ago so it's something very new and uh, even i am interested in knowing what happens exactly hmm. because this has been a very hot topic recently so i want to know what is the history yeah so let's see what is there in this video when the first vehicle in the convoy suddenly blew up the russian mercenaries knew something was wrong their objective to capture an oil field in eastern syria was supposed to be a routine mission the enemy they knew by then would have fled long ago at the sight of 500 battle hardened russian and syrian fighters okay but instead the attack had come to an abrupt halt an explosion after explosion shook the ground Huh? It wasn't long before AC-130 gunships, predator drones, Apache helicopters, and fighter jets were circling over the battlefield. So America knew about it. The attackers from every imaginable angle. Cool. What the Russian forces didn't know was that the oil field was not defended by any fighters, but by American special operations forces supported by the most powerful air force in the world. Wow. And so, within a few minutes, the routine mission turned into hell on earth and into one of the deadliest engagements for the notorious Russian mercenary group Wagner. Wagner. To stop the rapid advance of the self-proclaimed Islamic State, the US had deployed troops in Syria since 2014. They supported the so-called Syrian Democratic Forces or SDF. A year later, Russia also intervened in the fight against ISIS, but on the side of Assad's Syrian government forces. The SDF and the Syrian army were never seen as allies. But in keeping with the saying the enemy of my enemy is my friend, yeah. both parties at least mostly avoided each other. Yes. After years of fighting, both armies managed to drive out the terrorists, and by 2018, ISIS held only a fraction of its original bases. To prevent an unintended conflict between Russian and US supported armies, a deconfliction line was formed along the Euphrates River, which effectively bisects Syria. In addition, both parties were able to contact each other through special telephone channels that were kept clear at any time. But despite all these precautions, on February 7th, just a few miles from the Euphrates River, the first deadly clash between Russians and Americans since the Cold War occurred. Oh. Late in the evening of February 7th, 2018, 500 Russian and Syrian fighters attacked an SDF military base. The base was located about 5 miles east of the Euphrates River. And controlled one of the country's main oil fields. Thus, like most oil fields, the area was officially on the Syrian democratic side of the ceasefire line. Mm. But this did not stop the Syrian-Russian troops in any way. The attackers were supported by various Russian-made battle tanks, as well as mortars, artillery, and rocket launchers, with which they began shelling the SDF base without warning. Oh. In addition, Russian Air Force aircraft were on standby to provide air support, but initially remained on the ground. However, while everything was initially going according to plan for the attacking force, I don't even have a word to say but horrifying. Yeah, the thing is like Russians are trying to capture everything mm -hmm. that is in Syria and they are trying to capture the oil fields and like they don't know that America is protecting it. So it will get exciting I think so as the video goes on. The phone suddenly rang in the Russian headquarters near the Euphrates. A representative of the US military was on the line and wanted to know whether Russian fighters were currently trying to take the military base at the Konaka oil fields. Here, not only the Syrian Democratic Forces were under heavy artillery fire, but also their allies, American Green Berets, Army Rangers, Marines, and various support units. After the Russians had explicitly denied the question whether the enemy were their troops, it was clear to the caller whoever was currently taking fire at his soldiers he would feel the full force of the american military Ooh. in just a few moments the response to the attack on their military base was prompt and tremendous even before the russian convoy reached its starting position for the attack the first and last vehicles were taken out in a classic ambush maneuver trapping the forces in the middle 
Wow. The missiles came from an American Reaper drone, which had been targeting the convoy for some time. This is a drone? However, yeah. to the Russian Wagner mercenaries on the ground, the drone was invisible, and they had a hard time understanding where the fire suddenly came from. It didn't take long for more shells to hit, spreading chaos on the battlefield. American artillery and high Mars rocket launchers engaged the convoy, inflicting numerous casualties. While the Russian forces were still trying to realize what was happening, four Apache helicopters appeared on the horizon. Oh my god. Although gosh. the gunships were several miles away, no one could hide from their precise infrared optics. The laser guided hellfire missile. You know, just think you are Russia. Like you are, have planned something and you are attacking that thing, and suddenly you see everybody is attacking. You are like, oh, where is this hellfire coming from? So, this is what they felt. Because like then there was this drone attacking, then the Apache helicopters and everything is coming. So America is always prepared. One step ahead. Yeah, it is always ready to attack. Missiles Very found smart. their target in the Russian battle tanks, while the 30 millimeter cannon forced the enemy infantry to withdraw. Few of them were able to escape the explosive shells, and a Russian survivor later reported that they suffered about 200 casualties huh? within the first few minutes, oh, no. almost half of the entire attack force. The reports that are on TV about, well, you know, about Syria and the 25 people that are wounded there from the Syrian army, and well, to make it short, we've had our kicked. So one squadron lost 200 people. Right away, another one lost 10 people. And I don't know about the third squadron, but it got torn up pretty badly too. So three squadrons took a beating. The Yankees attacked. First they blasted the out of us by artillery. And then they took four helicopters up and pushed us in a merry-go-round with heavy caliber machine guns. They were all shelling the holy out of it. And our guys didn't have anything besides the assault rifles. Whoa. Nothing at all. Not even mentioning shoulder fired Sams or anything like that. So they tore us to pieces for sure, put us through hell. And the Yankees knew for sure that the Russians were coming, that it was us, Russians. Our guys were coming to commandeer an oil refinery and the Yankees were holding it. We got our beat rough. My men called me and they're there drinking now. Many have gone missing. It's a total It sucks. Another takedown. Why do Russians call well, Americans Yankees? While AC-130 gunships circled over the battlefield, Nickname. engaging yeah. individual targets, large B-52 strategic bombers completely destroyed the convoy. Oh my god. Those who managed to escape hid in buildings, but even there, they were not safe for long. Late into the night, the attackers were hunted this by above me, I'm running. fighter jets, whose bombs penetrated even the best cover. The new fifth-generation air superiority fighter F-22 Raptor was also used. But for the soldiers it on the ground, so cool. it no yeah, longer it made any board difference board. who was pounding them. The Russian contractors did not stand a chance against the American Air Force. Although there were rumors that some pilots from the nearby Russian air base were asking for permission to take off, mm. the blue-painted Su-34s and 35s remained on the ground. The attackers' casualties were so heavy that in the middle of the battle, one of the Russian commanders called in and asked for a ceasefire. Indicating that Russian military Finally, was in contact with the attacking fighters after all. A published call from a Wagner mercenary sums up events in Syria. Mm. Just had a call with a guy. So they basically formed a convoy, but didn't get to their positions by some 300 meters. One unit moved forward. The convoy remained in place about 300 meters from the others. The others raised the American flag and their artillery started ours really hard. Then their choppers flew in and started f***ing everybody. <laughs> Ours just running around. Everybody. Just got oh, a call yeah. from a pal. <laughs> so they're about 215 f***ing killed. They simply rolled ours out f***ing hard. Made their point. What the f*** ours were hoping for in there? <laughs> that they'll f***ing run away themselves? Hope to Is this a comedy video or what? <laughs> Lots of people f***ing so bad they can't be f***ing ID. <laughs> there were no foot soldiers on the American side. They simply f***ed our convoy with artillery. <laughs> when the battle ended early next morning, there was nothing left of the convoy of vehicles. Aww. All combat vehicles have been destroyed, with the exception of a single battle tank and armored personnel carrier. Of approximately 500 Russian left? and Syrian attackers, at least 200 were killed or wounded. Oh, no. One of the mercenaries later reported that in some places they found solidified melted sand and gun barrels bent from the heat. There were no casualties on the American side, 
and no reports of damaged aircraft. No chance. Only one of the SDF soldiers in the base at the oil field was wounded by Russian fire, but survived. The incident sparked outrage on both Russian and Syrian what sides, but since the Americans had Night repeatedly vision. reassured themselves through the Russian officials, they could not be blamed. According to intercepted phone Moscow. calls between the leader of yeah. Wagner and Russian Have ministers, the attack was even said to be an order from Moscow. For Wagner Group fighters, the Battle of Conoco Fields went down in history as Red February and was one of their most humiliating engagements. Red February. At least some of them received a medal specially made for this event. It shows a Russian soldier surrounded by flames heroically shooting at an American Apache helicopter. And a scene that probably never took place in this way. <laughs> The Syrian Democratic Forces and their American allies had successfully defended the base at the oil field and continued to fortify it. The demonstration of their superior air power was meant to be a warning to any hostile forces not to mess with the wrong people. Interestingly, when Syrian and Russian fighters gathered in the area again about a month later, the Americans once more contacted the Russian commander in charge. This time, it was not long after the end of the phone call that the entire Russian Syrian fighting force hastily withdrew. Yes. So this video was a bit funny too in the in between, like how he was explaining the phone calls that they made. But I think so, like we should not laugh at it because that was that Russian guy. He was just like feeling all hell, and he was just explaining those hell. He, he was, was disgusted and and he was like he was just explaining his hell. So due to that, it was it felt very funny, but it is not funny. He was going through a lot. But the thing is, like that's what happens when you fight with America, and like like uh, the American commander gave away the signal at first. He wanted to contact first, and he said, "Who is there? And what do you need to do?" But they did not respond, and that is why they had to attack it. And when they attacked, like half of their armory was gone. But like the next time, that was the best part. Like in the end, when he said, "Okay, next time," they contacted them again, and within some time, they withdrew. Exactly. So that is the smart thing to do. Yeah. So I think um, I've seen this in Bollywood. Uh, how they portrayed Syria. It it it's some place where you know it's all deserted and uh, people are just fighting. I I don't know. I have this. image of syria already and this is exactly what they showed in this video also that it was all deserted and people were just um, wearing those uniforms and ready to fight and you know that 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 particular image of uh, army mm. that is exactly what is shown in this video yes and they were going at it like and even americans were ready at it so this was a very interesting video and it is actually how us military smoked russian mercenaries yes. so how did you guys feel about this video do let us know in the comment section below so do like share and, and subscribe bye